Hey guys and welcome to my Elite Dreadbloom Guide. This guide was done without any monkey knowledge and also without a hero for the no hero achievement. So if you have a hero, put down Ben in round 7 to make everything way easier. After the engineer, upgrade your farm to 200. Upgrade your engineer to 00 to aka pin. Now build another 200 farm and upgrade your engineer to double guns. Build two more 200 farms. Because of the custom rounds from the red bloom, we have to deal with lead balloons in round 26, so make sure to put down an alchemist on strong. Also, upgrade your alchemist to lead to gold before round 28. Upgrade one of your farms to a marked place. Build a dart monkey with enhanced eyesight for the camo balloons. Upgrade your engineer to larger service area and balloon trap and put the trap down to the bottom right. Now it's time to upgrade one more farm to a marked place but be careful in 135 you have to upgrade your dart monkey to very quick shots and crossbow or you might die. Now upgrade your last two farms to mark places and put down a boat and upgrade it to favor trade. In round 39 when you see both of the ceramic regrow balloons, make sure to put the trap in the back just to be 100% safe. So the first tier is very similar to normal. We are going to build a sticky bomb for most of our damage and we are going to build a 402 village and build a lot of 031 Moab Maulers. I got 12 Moab Maulers in total. So after tier 1 we are going for a much safer round 52, round 60 defense as a normal. So we are going for a DB wizard and also for rubber to gold and double trap. You can also upgrade both of your traps to deconstruction because this will help you a lot with all the moabs. I'm going to upgrade them later anyway so you might want to spend the 700 right now.
At this point you can just build as many mark places as you can until round 57. And don't forget the favorite trade in round 58. So 42 we are going to use the tag zone as our main DPS with double eyes but in order to let the dread rune reach to our tag zone we are going to use our dartling gunner and pull it on the top right. After that we are going to upgrade our dartling gunner to a MAD and when it's in range of the tag zone or almost in range of the tag zone we can start turning it around and deal damage to the dread rune. After the first skull make sure to sell the mat and get the tag zone and the tier 5 eyes and the tier 4 eyes. Also make sure to buff your tag zone with a 401 alchemist. So after tier 2 basically just follow my setup, make sure to always overclock your 520 farm and build a lot of BRFs. Your defense is good enough until round 80 so keep your focus on building BRFs and overclocking. For tier 3 we are getting a mad for the first skull, this can take a while so always make sure to overclock your MAD and make sure to only use the ability in combination with overclock. So overclock first and then use the ability for extra damage. And for the other skulls we are going to get a boomer, you can also get a dark paragon if you don't have the boomer paragon but I think the boomer is slightly better. Put on 3 monkeys which are going to be your tier 5 monkeys and make sure to place at least 25, you should probably place 26, 2 to 0 boomers as sacrifices for degree 20 paragon and at round 83 you can just sell some farms, sell the MAD, I didn't sell the MAD but you can sell the MAD after the first skull and then get your boomer.
Now at this point just get a flying fortress and the 220 village for camo vision and jungle drums to buff it and also get a 420 alchemist to buff your flying fortress and at that point just get your tier 5 farm back. After you run out of space for BRFs, make sure to build an energizer for cooldown reduction and start building overclocks as much as you can and keep overclocking every single farm. I know this is annoying but this will give you a lot of money. And. For tier 4 we are going to use a degree 20 boomer and a degree 20 ninja paragon so you know how to do the degree 20 boomer paragon already because we did it on tier 3 so keep doing that and then you can just prepare your ninja paragon um, farm for one or two rounds until you can afford him and yeah get him and you can also keep him. Forty-five. we have two options now, you can get an ace paragon, it's probably the easiest solution, just get an ace, put it on wing monkey if you have that monkey knowledge or just micro it a bit like I did in the video. And if you don't have that paragon, just get a support god temple or a sun god temple, make sure to build a strong setup, build a lot of towers, build all these support towers. You can just check out my normal run, I did a support temple there, you can probably just add more towers and yeah that's basically it for this week. Thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys on the live stream later, bye.